Hello everyone, this is Paul from Hi-Fi Mail. Today, I'm talking about how to make the setting for BMW Android screen when you install the unit. Some settings is very important. For example, the car display setting. You need to go to the factory menu and choose the car type. Only that, your original car menu can show on Android screen. If your car is EVO model, you need to go to the factory menu and choose the pen setting. The original functions can work. Another case like backup camera. No matter there's OEM camera or you install the aftermarket backup camera, you also need to make the setting. Today, I'm going to make a video to tell you what kind of setting need to be made and how to make the setting for this. Okay, now let's begin. Before talking about the setting, you must make sure the wire connection is correct. This is the head unit, the power cable. Some friends uh, made mistake because when he can't have the optical cable in the original power cable, he don't move the optical cable to new Android power cable. That way, the optical cable not work after installation. This is the video cable. Now, I'm talking about the car display setting. When you hit the car infant here, it will get into the original car menu. This model is NBT show. It shows NBT model here. But some friends don't know how to set it, how to make the setting for this. Go to the setting. Go to the factory. This is the password. Enter. Car display here. You can see on the right side, it lists car models. MBT, MBT, MBT here. Also CIC here, CCC here. Because this model I demo now is NBT. So, I just chose number 1, number 2, or number 3. 6.5 inch half screen. That is small screen. So, the number 1 is the correct setting for my model. If I chose the number 2, I chose number 2 to see how it looks. You can see it shows wide screen, but that is wrong because my original display is small screen. Now I want to choose number 3, 8.8 .8 to 10.25 inch here. I chose it. That's ROM car type. Now I want to choose other iDrive version to see what happened. For example, I want to choose uh, CCC for example to see how it works. You can see that's black screen. That's wrong. Now we can make a summary. The first thing you need to choose the iDrive version based on your car model. The car model here because the BMW have a lot of car models it cannot write all car models on this disk. That's no need and impossible. So, here just an example. Don't care about the car model here. And you need to choose the models based on your display. When your display is small screen, you should choose half screen here. When your screen is wide screen, big screen, you should choose this or this. Only that it can work. This video. Some cars have no signal and others problems. I also made this video. It also talk very details to check the reasons and handle the problems. In this part, I want to talking about backup camera setting. There's two situations. Number one. When your car have OEM camera, 
In that case, you just go to the setting here, setting, and system. Here, camera selection, then choose OEM camera. That means battery camera. If you install the aftermarket backup camera, please make sure the first thing is to connect the backup camera to this here. Here is the power for the aftermarket backup camera. Camera 12 here, this connector is real view camera in. Don't connect the backup camera to reverse line. If that did not work, this is the first thing. I have made video for the wire diagram for this in very details. I will share the video link in the description below. That way you can see how to connect the cables for backup camera here. This is the first thing you need to do. After that, then go to this menu and choose aftermarket backup camera here. This is the second thing. The third, you need to go to the factory menu here, factory. Notice here, IHD camera selection here. The default is automatically detection. That's correct. But please notice this. This kind of camera just a normal camera. It is not IHD. So, if this option is not work, you can choose CVPS NTSC here. You should show this one or this one because the camera you install is just a normal camera. If you choose IHD here, it will not work because the backup camera you install now is just a normal camera. Another case is that you install IHD camera here. See? IHD camera is very high resolution camera. In that case, you need to choose the IHD camera here. Only that it can show correctly. But I still have some friends that he have noticed the setting for the camera. Also notice the IHD camera selection here. They are correct. But when I reverse the gear, it still not show the image of the camera. Go to vehicle here. You can choose gear selection. Sometimes it also costs the preference for gear selection here. You can choose Taiwan or Thai free. The second is you can go to the setting here. Uh, information here. Make a picture and send to the seller. The MCU might be wrong. Here it shows the CAN protocol. Normally just keep the default. Here, this model I demo now is NBT. So that's NBT is correct. When we send you, the unit already have set correct. For EVO models, I will show you a video about the EVO CAN setting to show you the details. This video is about how to make the setting for EVO models. You can watch this video. It took very detailed step by step. Here the MICK, what's that mean? MIC is the microphone for Android screen here. This model built in microphone. When you make a call, you cannot hear the sound, right? In that case, you can increase the MICK here to set to a uh, higher level. When I start a car, I want to go to the OEM menu. That way you can choose this to OEM system here. Bluetooth, uh, some friends ask 
I want to use the original car Bluetooth. How to do it? You just chose OEM Bluetooth here. When you use the Apple CarPlay for this unit, you have to choose Android Bluetooth. If not, there's no way to connect the Apple CarPlay because it need to connect the Android Bluetooth first. Amplify, choose OEM Amplify. Yeah. Unit here. Mm. Some fans said, I want to change the unit, uh, I mean the speed unit, for example. You can change it, choose here. Here, one option, car without OEM monitor. For example, when your car is ZIG4, the car without original display or X1 E84, the car without original display, you need to choose this. If not, it will not work. I use with mode. If the automatic not work, you can choose the menu here. Here. The knob type, what's that mean? Normally, don't need to choose it unless your car is CCC system. For example, your car is 5 series E16. When the iDrive I is not work, you can choose to iDrive B. And also, some friends said my Android screen don't have the sound output. You can watch this one. This one is very details, very details. To tell you step by step to check the reasons and how to handle it. If you are the first time to watch my video, you can subscribe my channel. That way, you can learn yourself by watching this video.